Anybody watching the news over the past decade can tell that Russia has the mindset and the ambitions of a superpower. From using their exports of natural gas for political leverage over a dependent Europe to their annexation of the Crimea, Russia has shown that it is no longer a second-rate power. While Russia's military and resource base alone place among the greatest world powers, Russia will need to reverse the demographic decline and revamp its economy in order to survive the coming years. However, through shrewd diplomacy, President Putin has cultivated strong ties with China, which is not only a big win for him, but also a feat even the Soviet Union never managed to accomplish. Russia is also one of the famed BRICS nations, which include Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Together with these new allies, Russia is forming a new powerful economic consortium known as the New Development Bank that may finally grant Russia the weapon it needs to topple the US and European dominated global markets. Russia and its BRICS allies under the New Development Bank will control more than 3 billion people, which is over 41% of the world's population. They also control more than a quarter of the world's land area and account for more than 25% of the world's GDP. If Russia's plans succeed, the NDB will allow them to build strong regional powers out of failed third world countries and guide them as faithful friends into Russia and China's sphere of influence paving the way for their ascendance and eventual control over the entire world. Number 9. Brazil If Brazil plays its cards right with its gamble on Russia and China, it could soon be the resource provider of a new world order led jointly by China and Russia, and superpower status will be its reward. To top that off, Brazil has an economy that is expected to grow to almost $10 trillion in the next four decades, putting it well ahead of Japan and Germany. Brazil also has massive reserves of natural resources as well as a population almost equal to the rest of South America combined. Taking all these signs into account, it's clear that Brazil could become the natural leader of South America by leveraging its influence over its smaller neighbors. Number 8. China Napoleon once famously said that China is a sleeping giant. Let her sleep, for when she wakes, she will move the world. And today, what Napoleon said is quickly becoming a reality. As Western nations have become hopelessly addicted to China's goods, China has become the world's manufacturing hub, making China an obvious candidate for superpower status. China's location allows it to project their newfound power over both Central Asia as well as the population and resource-rich areas of North and South East Asia. China's crucial manufacturing base tethers the country to the global shipping lanes that stretch from the Pacific to the Indian Ocean, granting China unparalleled control over these strategically important shipping lanes which carry the lifeblood of the entire world economy. Some statisticians estimate that people with genius-level IQs occur only in 2% of all births. That means that China could have as many as 26 million geniuses among their 1.3 billion population, while the United States only has 6 million geniuses at its disposal within its population of 300 million people. China may have more brains as well as the brawn compared to the rest of the world, and can simply outthink its rivals. And on the military front, China has recently procured its first aircraft carrier. A Chinese carrier fleet means that for the first time, China may be able to move about the globe and conduct bombing campaigns against any third tier power on the planet with impunity, as the United States has done in the past. As for the present, China is constructing artificial islands and preparing to annex disputed territory with the South China Sea. These moves are clear signs that China already sees itself as a regional superpower, with plans to expand well beyond their own region, once they acquire these forward bases of operation. Number 7. Indonesia Indonesia could see its strategic importance in Southeast Asia grow as tensions in the region heat up because of China's expansionist policies. The Indonesian archipelago forms a shield of islands between the Pacific and Indian Oceans, making it a powerful barrier nation between two major areas of the world. The superpowers of today are all aware of Indonesia's strategic location and may seek to ally with Indonesia and invest heavily in its development. Indonesia's economy has been growing at between 5 and 7% each year, 
and a Citibank report suggested that Indonesia has in the coming decades the potential to become the fourth largest economy in the world. Meanwhile, the military strength of Indonesia today is significant. Because Indonesia has grappled with insurgency, they have some of the most effective special forces units in the world. And the SEAL Team 6 raid to capture Osama bin Laden shows just how special forces are quickly becoming just as important as large standing armies. To top it off, Indonesia's government is currently acquiring state-of-the-art jet fighters and expanding the size of their surface fleet to over 200 ships. The real question for Indonesia's future leaders will be how to expand their own influence while balancing the needs of Washington and Beijing. Either way, Indonesia will have the power base to become a formidable global force in the future. Number 6. The European Union If the European Union manages to survive the nationalist and Eurosceptic movements currently challenging it, the European Union is a prime candidate for superpower status in the very near future. The fact that a unified Europe could rise as a superpower with relative ease is well known to the strategists inside the Pentagon and explains the United States' never-ending involvement in Europe through organizations such as NATO. With the economy roughly similar in size to the US and an even larger population, the EU could centralize their political power in the future. These projections may not even be in the realm of speculation because since the early 90s, the EU has sought to create their very own joint strike force known as the CSDP. And many analysts believe that this European force would be independent from the US-dominated NATO, meaning that the only obstacle for the EU becoming a superpower is a question of will and not a matter of ability. If you want to be the supreme dictator of your very own superpower country, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And if you want to hear my voice some more, go check out my channel in the description. And we'll see you all next time. If you're not too busy taking over the world, that is.